Hey y'all, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Ayoka and I'm getting ready to bring you your general energy update for today. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna start off with some daily guidance. Then I'll pull in the energy, but hold on one second y'all. I forgot to plug up my ear, my mic real quick. I would like for my sound to be projected a little better. So get that going. Sorry, you guys. Okay, so for those of you who don't know me, my name is Ayoka. Um, I definitely appreciate you guys' support for tuning in. All right, so use the spirit of discernment. Take what you need from this video. You need what you don't need. Overall, flip the roles as you see fit. And remember, everyone's on a different timeline, okay? So I'm going to set my intentions and then I'm going to get started. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my angelic guides, for helping me with this collective energy read protect us as we go through the spiritual gates to commune with you close the gates to anything not in alignment with the divine's will thank you for using me as the messenger speaking through me loud and clearly and using me as a clear channel to deliver these messages and so it is all right y'all so let's see what's good thank you for showing me what i need to see what is the guidance for my collective today innocence hmm <laughs> Everyone is guiltless in truth, okay? So, as no one can alter God's handiwork of perfection. So, give your angelic team, give your um, ancestors, however it resonates for you, your feelings of heaviness, okay? So, they can lighten your load. If there's guilt, if there's anger, if there's blame, okay? It may be shrouding your outlook. So, enjoy the peace within your heart once more see yourself and others through the eyes of the angels with unconditional love okay and this is about your own self-acceptance as well with the acceptance card coming through and you're making steady progress even if you don't feel like it you are okay your angels are acknowledging you for the progress you made and remembering love and your daily activities and they can clearly see the contributions you're making to the world through your thoughts, your feelings, and your actions. And you're doing it through love. It's coming from your heart. The universe sees you. You're making the progress. Okay, so I'm going to pull tarot because we're going to see what this innocence card is about. Show me what I need to see with the innocence card. Tell me about the innocence card here. Do it again. Okay, so Page of Pentacles comes out, Three of Wands comes out in the upright position. So with this Page of Pentacles, um, there's definitely, you have a lot of goals is what I'm seeing. Okay, so there may be some communication coming through for you in regards to these goals right now. But the thing is, is someone has this motivation to begin a certain process in regards to the goals. And what I'm seeing here is that because of how you feel about this person right now i don't know if it's because of their lack of commitment i don't know if it's because you may be worried okay at the moment that you know something between you and this person may not be successful because of their behavior is what i'm hearing it's like three of wands comes out in the upright position so it's like when it comes to the progress will you see that progress right will you be able to manifest these goals um it's definitely what i'm saying this may be what you're feeling with this person okay and overall i do see you're trying to create this found um foundation for yourself something that's stable but it's it's a lot of frustration and it's a lot of obstacles between you and this person it just seems like what i'm hearing is like you may not can't i, I have this heavy feeling i don't I'm picking up somebody's energy. It feels pretty heavy, but it just, it feels as though it's like, you know, this person isn't consistent or 
you may be feeling like you're trying but then they keep pulling away and you know it's all types of feelings that I'm, I feel you're you're feeling about this person okay <clears throat> in regards to their behaviors but remember we are a mirror reflection of each other so the divine is definitely asking you to see the innocence in this person okay six of swords in the upright position so right now this is a time of transitioning someone is going through a transition okay and it, you know how when you go through these transitions they're not always easy right when you're going through awakenings and we be thinking okay i'm going through a spiritual awakening blah, blah, blah. no it's not fun mm -mm. <laughs> all right and this is what's happening this person is going through some type of transition and they're actually trying to find the strength okay with the strength card coming out or the carriage to get through these endings ten of swords all right so it's a lot of things here that i'm seeing that is ending in someone's life and it hurts because there's a lot of deep wounds that are connected to these endings so this is where the obstacles are coming in or the frustration may be coming in and although you may be trying to progress or this person may be trying to progress um within the, this connection here it is it's becoming very frustrating it, it's hurtful i'm i'm hearing for both parties only because you guys are both going through a transition Okay, look, nine of wands. So you may be feeling like ready to, you know, throw in a towel or it's some type of defensiveness. Someone could be being very defensive. It could be feeling like it's a one-sided situation. It's like I'm showing that I'm being resilient. I'm, I'm showing that I'm, you know, I'm still here standing. I'm still here fighting. I'm still here trying to connect. I'm still here believing. But this person just keeps being defensive or they keep being, um, they're not, you know, fighting with me or we're not seeing any type of progress. It's just frustration and obstacles. You know, these are all the things that could be coming to your mind. There's no progress. The move, the chariot card here is in the reverse. So you may feel like there's no direction and it may make you feel the whole situation overall may make you feel powerless. Okay. Or make this person feel powerless here in your life because of that. So let me read the Innocence card to you guys real quick. <clears throat> so this situation and the people involved are guiltless. If you've been harboring guilt, release it to the angels. All of the emotions, the guilt, it has the lowest vibration. So it attracts negativity. If you're judging others' guilt, this card reminds you to see the godliness within them to heal the situation. You don't necessarily have to continue a relationship with them, okay, or anyone you distrust. But however, it's necessary to purge the toxic thoughts and emotions for your own well-being. The angels ask you to consider that any misunderstandings where an innocence were a okay, so, the, all right, I got it. The angels are asking you to consider that any misunderstandings were an innocent mistake, okay? So, see the other person's point of view, forgive yourself and release whatever the regrets are. An argument you may have had was based on a misunderstanding, but honor the inner child within yourself and others. Look past surface illusions and see the underlying spiritual truth of perfection and divine order. So, basically, that's what it is. It's just like Spirit is asking you to see the innocence in the situation. It doesn't necessarily mean that you have to connect with this person in this way, but just see them through the eyes of God. That's it. See them through acceptance. See them through unconditional love. And then just move on. Right? Because every time you may have some type of falling out or disagreement with someone, it literally is because of a misunderstanding. Or usually it's because of miscommunication in some kind of way. Right? Um, but otherwise, yeah, it's, it's, it's good for you because then it helps you to purge any toxic thoughts or emotions. Okay? It helps you because it's about your own well-being. Okay, your own peace of mind. So, yeah, try to see the other person's point of view, however that may be. Um, stay in a state of peace 
and just move forward you know try to move past all of this so that you won't be harboring guilt so that you won't be harboring feelings of heaviness or anger or blame towards someone because that is going to be a barrier for you to be able to move forward here is what i'm seeing okay so mm -hmm, and and i and i get it you're trying to find a strength here to be able to to take care of your earthly matters all right, but the heartbreak and the pain and all of the stuff associated with these endings that you're going through, it's, it's normal. You're going through a transition, and sometimes it's hard to let go of what's familiar, um, especially when it seems always the hardest to let go of the toxic stuff, right? <laughs> but that's because of this thing called trauma bonding, <laughs> okay? But, yeah, it, it's so much better, okay? Acceptance. Tell me about acceptance. <clears throat> Look, same thing, yeah. Someone you got find the find the confidence here to accept yourself and accept others, to see them through the eyes of God or through the eyes of love or through the eyes of acceptance. Okay, because this way it will inspire and lift everyone to their highest potential. Alright, so um wow. Tell me about the steady progress. Mm -hmm, same thing you're making progress <laughs> stay resilient okay even though you experience some harsh endings with this ten of swords stay resilient with the nine of wands face your fears okay you may be going through some type of adversity right now but stand stand tall and stand strong strong okay because you are resilient you are making progress with the three of wands you are creating a firm foundation for yourself. You may not feel like it, but it's happening. The spirit world acknowledges you for it. And they are sending you signs to show you, look, we see you. We got you. But you got to stay in alignment here to continue to manifest. They celebrate you. Literally, they're celebrating you. They like raising a glass up like, cheers. They doing it. Okay, they doing the damn thing. All right, so... <clears throat> Mm -hmm. And you don't see it with the moon card coming out. It's an illusion, honey. Okay, it's our ego that'll make us think that we're not making any progress and that things aren't changing and we may not be able to get to where we want to go. And blah, 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 blah. You know, all that bullshit we tell ourselves, right? But you are making progress. So just believe it. Release what no longer serves you, okay? The guilt, the anger, the blame, your own lack of self-acceptance or confidence. Um, let me see something here. What is the overall energy here? <clears throat> Ooh, come on, cards. So somebody's broken hearted because they ain't seeing the progress. <laughs> door, um, broken heart in the door to value. You're not, you're, you're not, you're grieving because you're not seeing what you think should come through this door. Whether it's money, whether it's love, whether it's good health, it's like, it's breaking your heart, literally. Tell me about the broken heart part. <clears throat> Release the fear. That's what Spirit is saying. Because this is what it seems to be around. The moon card in the reverse. Get clear. Because the ace of swords also comes out in a reverse position. So you may be unsure. Or confused basically. And really failing to communicate. And it has a lot to do with the grief. Okay. You're grieving. Because you're in, you're in expansion mode. You're ready to start something new. You're grieving, especially when it comes to love. Wow, ten of wands in a reverse position. So literally, you are carrying so much on your shoulders right now. You're burdened. You're so burdened. But you're doing too much by yourself. You're trying to do everything by yourself. You're trying to be everything to everyone. Okay? And it's just too much. You're doing too much. It's time for you to heal is what I'm seeing. Just take a step back and look at what you're doing. You're making progress. Ace of Cups comes out. Like you even have this offer or opportunity here for love. And it's like overflowing. It's like five streams of this in your life right now where you have passion, you have love, you have commitment, you have 
honesty, you have truth, you have loyalty. Um, it's all of these things I'm seeing here flowing from that cup. Page of Swords in the reverse position. And you also may be uncertain or unclear because you're looking like I'm offering, and this is, I don't know who this for, it's like I'm offering this love and this person isn't open to receive it. And so that is burdening you on top of that. Okay, so if it's in that scenario, Spirit is saying try to see this person's innocence. Okay, and Page of Swords comes in a reverse position. So you could be, be feeling defensive. This person could be defensive, but it's a lot of miscommunication is what I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. Ten of Cups in a reverse position. So, um, overall, uh, it's still a, a struggle. When it comes to communicating a whole lot right here in your story, it's a struggle. Okay? You may feel disconnected. This person may feel disconnected. But someone is not being true to their own values on love. Period. Tell me about the door to value. <clears throat> Tell me about this door to value. Yep, someone's stuck in the past. Six of Cups in the reverse, clinging to the past. Okay, that needs to be released. Because the past is restricting you from opening up to love, to new people. Um, it's, help, it's making it hard for you to be able to move on. Look, High Priestess, it's time to check in with your higher self. Okay, listen to your inner voice here when it comes to everything that's taking place right now. Mm -hmm. because the chariot is in the reverse again like <clears throat> you may feel powerless but you're going through certain endings this is like the death of ego with the death card coming out in the upright position it's a lot of endings taking place you're going through a major phase here in your life and you could be resisting the change this person could be resisting the change or just holding on to some negative emotional patterns because of fear of changing because of fear of connecting and working with someone you may be feeling disconnected because it's like uh, we're not sharing the same goals or this person here is is not learning from their mistakes or you may not feel like you're being respected or valued Okay, so you may get triggered and like, you know what, I'd rather just work alone. You know, I'd rather just go ahead and do this journey by myself. You know, things like that. And it, it really doesn't feel like you guys are working together well, is, is what I'm seeing here. Um, but there's still steady progress. So however this falls in your story, there is steady progress. Look, the high font is in the reverse. You may feel like you and this person don't share the same values, that you're not in alignment. That this person is no commitment, you know, to the situation that you have going on. However it flows for you, whatever is happening in your story, try to see this person's innocence. Why? <clears throat> because the Tama card comes out in a reverse position. Be this is basically someone trying to de delay something. Okay, somebody's trying to delay the inevitable for the most part when it comes to the future, two of wands, when it comes to making certain decisions, um, they're delaying it. Why you want to know why? It's because of these plans that were made before in the past, they failed. Okay, whatever this may be, it's like. Even if this is love, it's always been some type of unexpected obstacle. And this is what makes them hesitant. Even if it's in a career. This is why this person isn't really taking these first steps. Or why you're not taking these first steps. Because it's, it's literally trying to delay the inevitable. The changes. Okay, so. the Eight of Swords in a reverse position. You're being told to... <laughs> Face your fears and your truth and, and release yourself from this prison. Clear your mind, okay? Because you may feel restricted. You may feel trapped. You may feel like your hands are tied. But it's you. Or it may be this person, if this isn't you, that are keeping themselves stuck. And it's because of fear and it's because of negative thinking, okay? There's actual solutions and, and progress is being made. <coughs> Look, this is about your lover. Look at this, the lover. Somebody feels insecure. Somebody feels like they're not, you know, manifesting. Okay? As the Empress is. Now, let me tell you. 
It's about balancing. And, and that's what I've been really pulling in for a lot of the readings. It's about duality. It's about balancing those energies operating in masculine and feminine. Okay, so you may need to tap into that femininity here to continue to manifest what it is that you desire. Because what I'm seeing here is like, it's about making choices that are best for your situation. You have a connection with someone and you have a very strong bond with this person. So somebody is definitely looking at, you know, however this is going, we need to change how we see each other here in this connection. Okay, so you may be even feeling a little um, insecure when it comes to what's going on here with y'all because it's a lot of disharmony is what i'm pulling in and this is like this is some inner disharmony okay so whether it's coming from you or this other person it's a lot of fear okay that's taking place please take a step back and and really see that there's progress being made now let me see something here with the moonology cards yep the energy is gaining momentum and let me read that from the book, y'all. Oh, here you go. So, the waxing moon. Let's see. Maybe During the Maxi moon, cy moon Cycle, hope springs eternal. This card is a very positive omen, indicating that you can create the reality you're dreaming of, though it will take some work, and you're not quite there yet. This is a time of energies rising up. Emotions are building too. But where do you want to go, and do you believe you can get there? Either you can just keep meditating and focusing on your desired outcome, or you can make the courageous commitment to make more practical steps towards your goals. Whichever you desire, you are most certainly on the right track. Just know that you're headed in the right direction. Your situation is full of potential. Your dreams can come true, but more effort is required. Are you willing to give it? Review your goals and ensure you are still committed and keep moving forward. This card suggests now is the time to make plans and to act on them no matter when you pull it. You're making steady progress no matter whatever it is that you're doing you're making steady progress okay if you feel like you're not making progress with someone in love you are okay if you feel like you're not making progress and when it comes to building a firm foundation for yourself you are you are being acknowledged by the universe and the universe is actually congratulating you sweethearts okay so raise your vibe today Try to see other people um, with the eyes of innocence, acceptance, and love, <laughs> okay? So that you can release this burden off of your heart and, and be able to move forward, all right? So, all right, y'all. So, peace. Y'all have a good day.